Now, what is it that happened? The Bible says there was light. Instantly, Peter, James, and John, and Jesus were clothed in intense light. And once that light came, that was the activation of appearance. In that light, the Bible says that Moses became visible. Elijah became visible. There was no transportation with a rocket. I want everybody to close your eyes. Open it again. Close your eyes. What do you say? Be honest. Darkness. That is the veil. You know why it is darkness? Because once you close your eyes, it is actually a frequency. Remember your TV. Before you start tuning it shows dark spots. You, you start tuning until you get to a frequency where there is network or to a station. Do you know that once you close here, you are supposed to see beyond? So that's why it comes as darkness, as black. That's the veil. That's the veil. The moment you say, Father, you close your eyes in the name of Jesus. The visions of heaven should open. The visions of angels should open. Lahila, Evacoparadia. And then he realized that beyond this physical dimension is another. There is no distance between the realms of visibility and the realms of invisibility. It's just a veil, it's just a shift of dimension. It's a, a sudden shift. The invisibility of these abstract dimensions is the veil. Now, now the, the Bible says in the book of Genesis, and God created the heaven and the earth and their host. There are creatures of heaven. Creatures of heaven are the host of heaven. Heaven is a dimension. Heaven is real. This is earth. Earth is a rain. And there are creatures of God on this earth. So why do we find it difficult to see beyond this earthly realm? The veil. Do you know that those in hell could see those in Abraham's bosom? Dimensions are interwoven. Dimensions are interlinked. But there is a tiny covering, a tiny veil between the second court to the third court. The Bible says there is the outer court, there is the second court, and there is the Holy of Holies. But in between the Holy of, of Holies and the second court was a veil. And when Jesus died on Calvary, the veil was torn and access was given to the top dimensions of God. Ah. So the Bible says that we can come boldly to the throne of grace. We can come boldly to that dimensions of the spirit where angelic creatures dwell. Where Elohims are. We are the congregation of Zion. Stand to worship God. We are he that sits on the throne. Oh, his hair is as wool, as white. The eyes is fire. His face is glowing with glory. 
He's seated on that throne. Any man who beholds Jesus in that dimension will never be the same for the rest of his life. Hallelujah. God says the veil is broken. The veil is broken. You know why people die? Because they still have this veil. You know why people die of cancers? They still have the veil. You know why people are poor? They have the veil. You know why demons torment people? Because they still have the veil. You see, we, the moment that veil is lifted, Satan will never again capture you in his red ass. You become incorruptible, invisible to Satan, invisible to the works of darkness. Lift your hands up. I pray that your eyes be opened. So I was praying and said, Lord, what is this veil? What happens when this veil is lifted? The Lord told me very powerful revelation. He says, appearance is what destroys the veil. The Lord says that appearance is not just the act of of invisible creatures showing up to mankind the Lord said that appearance is a dimension it's a realm it's, God said appearance is not just an act it's a dimension of the spirit it is a bridge between the invisible realm and the visible it's a connection and that's what the Bible says that when Christ who is our life shall appear we shall also appear with him in glory the Lord told me he said the dimension of appearance is what removes the veil some of you don't know that even some of you are invisible to angels. Just as, as some creatures are invisible to us, we are also invisible to many creatures. For instance, listen to this. If you, mankind has succeeded to travel to other planets, right? Right? Is that correct? Yes. Hear me out. Do you know that once they take on that flight, the rocket, and they travel through the galaxy and land in a particular planet that they got to, they begin to take pictures. Do you know that that planet has creatures that live in them? Unfortunately, those creatures in those planets can't see those humans. And the humans in that planet can see them. You know why? Because there is a veil. Man is not capacitated to see other creatures of another glory. But what bridges the veil, what bridges that invisibility is appearance. So there is a dimension in the heavenly realms that is called what? Appearance. And it's called the manifestation. The dimension of manifestation. Once that door is opened, Everything in that dimension or in both dimensions will become what? Visible and they interact. And God is about to release that appearance. That dimension is about to descend. And that dimension is going to be in between the heavenly realms and the natural realm. And then the things in the heavens will become visible. 
it, it is called appearance. And those that are in this earthly dimension will become visible to creatures beyond here. And then we are able to interact with creatures that are supposed to be under us and for us. Now this dimension is light. Nobody intercepts the visible dimensions to travel into the invisible dimension without encountering light. Paul said, I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ will give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him that the eyes of your understanding can be flooded with light. So when that light comes, it is called appearance. It's a dimension that bridges the invisible realms with the visible so that light comes when that light covers a man that man is able to still be in the visible realm but interacting with creatures beyond here and also accessing dimensions beyond here now i'll show you jesus took peter james and john to a certain mountain that mountain is called uh, the Mount of Transfiguration. Not because that mountain is a mountain of transfiguration. No, it's not. It's just that something happened there. Now, what is it that happened? The Bible says there was light. Instantly, Peter, James, and John, and Jesus were clothed in intense light. And once that light came, that was the activation of appearance. In that light, the Bible says that Moses became visible Elijah became visible D there was no transportation with a rocket in that light the invisible realm became visible to the visible dimensions there was a bridge the veil was lifted in that light for instance the moment your eyes are closed you see darkness but the moment God wants to show you a vision, light will come and teeth you will open. That's how I see visions. Light will you are there. Even when your eyes open, you'll be amazed that even though your eyes open, you, you, you open your natural eyes, you are still in that vision. It doesn't go. Because you are captured in that realm. It's called the appearance, the dimension of light. So, the invisible realm became visible when the light of the glory of God covered that vicinity. Everybody under that light had access into the realms beyond here so the veil is broken with light once light shoots shim, the invisible realms and the visible merge for the moment it will it it will merge for as long as the light remains as long as the dimension of appearance is there don't don't please think that appearance is just when creatures appear no it's a law of the spirit it's a dimension that must be cultivated you must pray to the point where you enter the, the realm of what appearance to merge the invisible with the visible you must do that because our blessings are in the heavenly realms our father is in heaven you are seated in heaven you have the keys of heaven everything that God has ever given you is established in the heavens so we ought to be traveling to heaven on a daily basis we must be merging these dimensions that's why you talk about power you have no power you preach about glory you don't see glory you pray for healing healing doesn't come listen healing has been released long ago God is not about to heal any man. Listen. 
the transportation, the transporter of all of God's promises, all that God has finished and given to you is found under the law of appearance. Once that realm merges, healing is there. Life. The voice of God is there. Clarity is there. You start interacting with custodians of certain blessings of God in your life. Jesus is real. Jesus wants to manifest himself to his people. Jesus is not in the books of the Bible. Jesus wants to remove the veil. He came to Saul on his way to Damascus and struck him first with light. Anywhere there is a supernatural appearance, there is light. Because light is that appearance. Light is the bridge, is, is the link. Light merges these two dimensions together. And a voice sounded from the dimension of heaven and said, Saul, 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 why do ye persecute me? Sir, it wasn't the Bible that spoke to Saul. All I'm trying to do is to remove this veil. You call faith, 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 have faith. Hey, believe in your heart. No, the hour has come. God said it is time to see me. I am your father. I am real. I am tangible. You can see me. I'm bringing the light of appearances. Because the change happens when we see him. We change. We transform. We become incorruptibles. We become immortals. When we behold the visibility of our Christ. Masapayada, Lahira, Familia, Sepecariada, Yakapaya, Sefria, Sefria, Perica Payada, and Tosapane Cavayada, Sa Emperadia, Evahila, Evina, Sefahila, Ecabaria. We increase in spiritual ranks when we capture certain depths in the reins of your sin when we elevate into that encounter something is captured in the reins 